back. This is Ezekiel, chapter 30. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy, and say thus saith the Lord, the power, how ye, woe, worth the day. Can I say this? How can, how can, uh, how can, how can, how can uh, people wake up if you're not, how can the people wake up if you're not out here teaching? Kind, kind. Uh, it, uh, how, how can people be aware of, like, Man, you who, who, who told you that before it was happening? I mean, we've been saying that since how long? It's been in the book of Revelation sitting there for thousands of years. A chip where you will not be able to buy nor sell. And what is the white man doing? What is the Edomite doing? He pushing that shit to where you won't be able to get your side hustle on no more. Because that tax, that tax thing is going to be to where it knows every little bit of change you get. So you mechanics that used to be in, the, in, in your own garage doing your thing, in your own business, but then you are going to do some things on the side, like, you know, up in the alley, fixing somebody's stuff. They going to be able to account for all that money. Con it. You're going to get away from their system, man. That's why it's such a wicked thing, because that has nothing to do with them. Con, if I may add, man, the government is all down your neck anyways about every every aspect of your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, they need you to have all kinds of things when you go out and do business. And then, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why, how come nobody sees nothing wrong with, with putting a chip in their skin? That's, that's, that's like... On another level. Yeah, that's... Because the white man don't come and make it here. It's right? his man. name, right? He's so-called the devil, which means deceit. So he's gonna make, when, that, when that chip comes, he's going to basically make it seem like it's all, oh, the healthy benefits and it, it's going to come with it. Oh, it's going to basically cure this, and you're going to be able to see this. They got a chip where it's going to be able to make you uh, 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 take the vibration of the, uh, of the sounds, and um, uh, uh, basically, people that can't hear and get that chip, they're going to be able to hear it. This, this white man has totally disrespected you and your and your uh, ancestors all these years, man. You, your whole life since you was a child, all the way to your adulthood, right now, just totally disrespected you, and then they disrespecting you more by trying to put a chip in your body and call and call you their property, man. That's what it is. They put they put chips in pets. That's yeah. how they find their animal. My cat, my cat got a pet. So chip you're in. gonna be cat. You're gonna be an animal to them. Yep. Somewhere they'll always be able to keep their eyes on it. The fake Jews already got a the saying called uh, the saying everybody in America's only goyim. If you look at that word goyim, it only means cattle. You say, oh, you're just good goyim, which means we mean good good cattle, all right? Yeah. So we plot that's why, you. That's why you have a birth certificate and an um and an, uh, 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 social security number, all right? Yeah. Because they just keep records of who they got. Right? Mm -hmm. If you're so-called free, why do you need these things to leave the country? Why can't you build a boat and get on a, a, the Pacific Ocean and just sail to Africa if you want to? Or well, what is that, the Atlantic Ocean? Uh, anywhere. 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 Anywhere, basically anywhere. You need a passport. They do the census every 10 years. That was the spirit. I, they trying to number how many Israelites there are. And the Lord already told us we're going to be as many as the stars as many as the sand on the shore of the sea. They're not gonna be able to number us, man. Exactly. They're they're trying to, but we steady popping babies out. Go ahead, so, this is Ezekiel, chapter 33, uh -huh. verse 30. Yep. Also thou son of man, uh -huh. the children of thy people still are talking against thee. Which is Israelites, go ahead. By the walls and in the doors of the house, and speak one to another, uh -huh. every one to his brother. Say, come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. And it says in verse 31, and they can, they come unto thee as the people coming. And they they come as the people coming. So basically, basically walking up, hearing the word, basically receiving it. You know, if you're hearing it, you know you break it down like man, you brothers, what y'all doing, man, is cool, man. And what y'all doing, man, is right now. Hey, keep doing what y'all doing, man. Basically showing love from their mouth. Because just because they can just because they like hearing what we're saying. Go ahead. Yeah, man, just like that right there. Okay. We saw these people just come and they inquired of us. They inquired of us, but they didn't come out their car. How you all see? 
They didn't come yeah, out yeah. their car, man. Okay. Like how they said, yeah. you know, they, they speak one another to us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like you said. What do you have? You, you, you guys, y'all out there, y'all pushing the truth. Oh, you guys, y'all got some, y'all got some knowledge to y'all. Oh, uh, uh, we want, we want, we want our children to be uh, knowledgeable like that. Oh, uh, we gonna come back? Never come back. Never really ask the questions on what what is salvation for See, them. That's how you know they don't follow the, the scriptures. Because if this dude so far follows the scriptures, it's, uh, the scripture says break. Uh, we supposed to break down stronghold. If this because this dude was part of the uh, Israel United IUIC. Now if I would have seen an IUIC member, if the dude's basically vice versa, and I came up on a car and I said, "Hey man, we kept y'all with," and he said IUIC, I would have rolled right over there, parked my car, got my Bible, and came out here and would have. Uh, uh, Pay my cars, all right? Because the my UIC guys is not teaching what GMS teaches, all right? That's how you know this dude, that's how you know that dude is a coward and he doesn't love the Lord, man. Yeah, those because, brothers. Because you're supposed to break down strongholds. And if to them, because it uh, says in the book of Proverbs, it says in, uh, in a, uh, a wicked is an abomination to the righteous and the righteous is an, an abomination to the wicked. Okay. So I UIC. IUIC is look at what GMS does as an abomination, which they're the wicked. All right, so if that guy thinking what we're doing is wicked, he should have parked his car, came and debated his cause with us. All right, he basically should have came and tried to get them us if he could, which he couldn't. That's how you know this good man. Go ahead. Backing off of what this brother just said, there was another brother that came out here. I ain't gonna call him a brother because he ain't even in the truth. There was another man that came out here last week saying that he watched IUIC. And when we asked him what was the name of the Lord, he said, uh, uh, Israel in Christ most happy. Something like that. He said something like that of the sort. When that's just the title. They teaching the doctrine to where they don't even teach the Lord's name. Here it is. I, I guarantee you, almost, guarantee you to the point where not their new subordinates coming in, but those who've been in their truth have a Hebrew name, and they don't give the Lord his just due. You know, that man, he, he double-minded, man. First you're gonna, first you're gonna break down the name, and then you're gonna turn around and, and say, don't, don't, don't say the name, unless you are wicked. How? How can you go against your own teachings? That's one of the things how we're going to get uh, uh, out uh, of this kingdom by calling on the name. Huh. There's so many scriptures that that that, uh, that makes that statement as fact. You are an unstable man, man. You are unstable. You are not rooted. Just because you've been in the truth, well, so-called truth that you proclaim to be in, how you read the scriptures, for as many years as you have been in it, don't mean that you are actually in the truth. And you doing it for personal gain. What the fuck is you doing on BET? <laughs> Karen, I got a precept to, uh, All right. okay, I got a precept to, uh, what you was talking about, abomination. Uh, Sirach 15, 13. The Lord hateth all abomination. Uh -huh. And they that fear the Most High love it not. All right? Go ahead. So you ain't you ain't supposed to love you know these abominations out here. You ain't supposed to think you're supposed to go out and do whatever you want, man. Right. You shucking and jab, trying to be with the motherfucking uh celebrities on BET. You trying you trying to wake up some celebrities Which so they says, can come to your cap and give you some money. What it says it says what if a, if a man if a man life with mankind that is an abomination to the Lord. So you don't supposed to rejoice. You don't supposed to be glad. When you're in the presence of a faggot, all right? You're supposed to be angry and you're supposed to be pissed off around it, man. Huh. Can you do anything about it? No, you can't, because we're in this wicked society right now. If you do, you might get, you, you're going to get locked up. All right? And so what we got to do? You got to, exactly, man. You got to uh, hold the faith and wait, all right? Until, yeah. it's your, until it's the Lord's time. It says, that they that fear the Most High love it not. He himself made man from the beginning right. and left him in the hand of his counsel. If thou wilt to keep the commandments and to perform acceptable faithfulness. And that, and that, and that, that just got the, uh, the IUIC member, when he pulled off, he wasn't keeping the commandments, all right? Because he it says, man, we're supposed to break down strongholds, man. So if you got it seared in your mind that, uh, that um, we are wrong, that we are wrong, we're supposed to come and debate about it. Come prove us wrong. Don't no. drive off like some little hoe ass shit. That was lack of faith right there. 
walk in the light. Cause best believe, cause best believe if I ever see a IUIC member out here on the street and I come and ask what you are, what y'all teaching, he said, oh, we're uh, uh, asking who y'all believe in and, and who, what group y'all with. And y'all say IUIC, GLCC, or any other of them the niggas, man, best believe I'm gonna come right out here, man. With my Bible and condemn you if you're not teaching the right thing. Right, cause you told And debate my cause, too. You misleading the people is to perform acceptable faithfulness. To perform it, you gotta do it. Exactly. All right, if, I, if that was me, I would have got out here and, and you know, I would have been you asking questions, talking, you know, conversating, listening. Are you, supposed to, are you supposed to so-called live out here? And some people teach you some, teach you some bullshit up there, man? Hey, now come on, I'm far fluent, man. Let me hear some shit like that. Let me even see that, man. Come on. Land back and off that. It was a Gentile last nigga that came here last Sunday trying to ask us what you doing. I'm just trying to make sure you're not misleading the people. He a Gentile last nigga that ain't know nothing about nothing. But he had the nerve to come up here and try to ask us are we misleading our people? And you you supposed to know some of the scriptures. So if you even if you felt like we was misleading our people, you supposed to step out and you supposed to debate your cause like this brother is saying, man. You're not supposed to let nobody mislead the flock, man. Okay, here it comes. This is Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 31. And they come unto thee as the people coming. Uh -huh. And they sit before thee as my people. Yep. And they hear thy words. They stand two faced. Come and basically put on a front right in front of you, and then when they leave, they're gonna talk a shit. Yeah, man. yeah, brother, that's right. Oh man, that's cold right there for real. Yeah. Exactly. Go ahead. I got the truth. Let's go get into them. Go ahead. I'll be back. But they will not do them. See, they won't do them, man. Go ahead. For with they mouth, with their mouths, go ahead. They show much love. What y'all doing, man? It's on point, man. Y'all be doing the right thing, man. Hey, man, keep doing what y'all doing, man. We don't need you to tell us what we need to do at all. Go ahead. But their heart goeth after their covenant, which is their mind. All right, and basically their brain is going in one, is going in one ear and out the other. Go no. ahead. Hey, you land back off there. The Lord said, uh, "You are what your heart uh, desire, man." Yeah, a man, a man. What, what if a man believe if that is what he is? Yeah. Let me get that. And let every man be. Uh, Sweating in the own mind. Huh. That's what you are, man. You sitting here, you standing out here, you like, yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. Uh-huh. Big ups, big ups. Hey, we'll be out here for a whole month, two, three, four, five months. We'll not see you again. You won't even come back to the same gas station. Just to try to avoid us. Cause you know you ain't with it. Get back to it, though. This is Ezekiel chapter. No, I got a precept. All right. You know this is how the, this is how the men of the Lord fight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Sirach 27:12. The discourse of a godly man is always with wisdom. All right. Always with wisdom. All right. You don't just you don't just drive up and you say uh, what's up, Shalom from another camp. You gotta, you gotta edify people, man. If you think they're going off, you gotta let them know. You know what I mean? That's what it's about. It's about getting your brother's right to be presentable to the Lord when he come back. All right? It's always with wisdom, but a fool changes as the moon. All right? I got some. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, Kyle, let me get this on. Uh, basically what you had brought up. This is Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. It says, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. It says, Eat and drink, saith he that is. It says, and his, and his heart is not with thee. So basically, man, whatever it says, it says, For as he thinketh in his heart, that is what he is. All right? So whatever you believe, man, that's why the Lord called y'all Gentiles, man. Because if you want to basically follow the acts of a Gentile, be a Gentile, you know, do the things a Gentile do, hey man, you're going to be a Gentile, man. You're still an Israelite, but you're going to, but you believe and your, uh, your custom is the way of Gentiles. All right? Okay? That's why, this, that's why the, uh, that uh, saying is, you are what you eat. 
All right, you can you can compare that to doctrine too, because doctrine is what as an uh, as a sweet role as a woman. All right? oh, shit. Exactly. Them doctrines out there is nothing, man. So we ain't sitting here eating this whole roll, man. This is what we gonna be, man. So if you're out there eating uh, uh, Gentiles, uh, if you're out there eating Gentiles as food, that's what you're gonna be a Gentile. When I say food, I'm talking about the, the doctrines they're pushing. All right. Yeah, kind. Go ahead. Don't gas, nigga. This is Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33. Yeah. And when this coming to pass, lo, it will come. Yeah, no, when this comes to pass, we're talking about the judgment and the um and the curses and the plagues is coming to America. All the things that we've been saying, we know. And when this comes to pass, which what we've been teaching, go ahead. Lo, it will come. Which it will come. So what we're teaching, it's not going to basically not come. It's going to come. Go ahead. Then. Then what? They shall know that a prophet hath been amongst them. Then they can, shall know a prophet, which the word prophet means to say before, has been among them. Right. What he was saying was true. What little Don was saying, what, 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 whatever you know your name is, what, I ain't never my homeboy was saying it was true. He said the truth was going to come. All right, he said these uh, 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 women out here going to eat their children. He said he, he's all going to bash our head and put us on guillotines. Why didn't I listen? Why didn't I take heed to that and take heed to what he said? Because Jake hard-headed, all right? Come First on. of all, Jake hard-headed. Then of all, the Lord didn't want you to get it, all right? That's the real reason right there, because the Lord didn't want you. That was the Lord rejected you. They too worried about vain, vain philosophies, man. Huh? And the key word was, the key words was, then they shall know. Because by the time, you know, it all comes to pass, it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late. We've already been out here. I wouldn't say wasting our breath, because we are out here for that one out of the many millions of you that is out here. But, you know, we've been sitting out here telling you guys this for the longest. And then when the Lord starts bringing in the FEMA camps, then when you out here with the chip in your head, you gonna know, damn, these brothers is actually saying that. And it's gonna be too late. Yep, sorry for you. I'm not. You basically, um, that was it to that? No. All right, uh, that, 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 that and that. But what are we gonna do in that time? Give me that Isaiah the trailer. Uh, this is uh, Book of Acts. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is what we gonna do in the time. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Isaiah uh, 33 and 6. Uh, Isaiah chapter 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Right. Wisdom and knowledge. Well, from what wisdom do we get? From the word and other various uh, uh, websites, brothers, you know, look up herbs. You know, how to hunt, how to use knives, how to use guns. You know, brothers, that's uh, uh, that we've been learning ever since in this truth. Right? We gonna learn. We gonna have, we gonna learn how to uh, uh, basically survive out here when the time hits. From all what we have accumulated by being in the truth. Because by being in the truth, it's gonna give you an unction to study all things. You're gonna want to learn how to how this work, how to cipher gas, how to do all this. All right. Learn certain websites to order certain things so when the time hits. All right. Because it says though it tarries, wait for it, for it will not tarry. We're talking about it's talking about that that time of Jacob's trouble. All right. Also, the scriptures tell us to be knowledgeable of all things. Exactly. I give you an unction to know how to get there. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. Right, you're going to have to, man, you're going to have to know how to, man, uh, build a fire out here, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to know how to hunt. Because, because uh, uh, you know, um, Going into the supermarket, man, is not going to be viable no more, man. You're not going to be able to go into it and just buy a, a, a turkey or something. You fat ass Americans, man. Y'all think y'all just going to be able to go to these grocery markets and go shopping and shit when the time of famine comes. Y'all going to be breaking in there, ain't finding nothing. They done ate the damn cords in there. <laughs> right, man. They up in Venezuela right now, in South America, in Brazil, going through the hurt. They eating they pets right now. They little guinea pig, they mama got them when they was little. It's in the pot, getting stirred up. <laughs> and that's how you fuckers gonna be, man. Eating <laughs> abominations. Guinea pig soup. That's 
what you gonna be doing, man. See, cause that's gonna come here to America, man. And nobody believes it. Ain't it happened to them? Yeah, yeah, some motherfuckers gonna try to put it.